Hi everybody, it's me Ali. So in this video, we will be going to prepare the folder case and run the simulation of the two-dimensional spherical uh, bullet. So let's go to the um, to the folder we have here, two-dimensional spherical bullet. So we have prepared the the mesh already, and let's take a look to the boundary files here. <coughs> So we have this, and remember we have this default face, it should be empty, okay, and also, I think that's all, and this is, this must be a wall, okay, good, now we can go to the initial condition, and initial and boundary condition of the case here so but before we do this because uh, in the u file the velocity we have this speed we need to make sure our geometry is right the direction of the geometry is right so it's right the speed is uh, this the flow will be from left to the right so it is to the x positive okay now it's now correct 650 meter per second so uh, copy this into our initial condition put it here and as you can see we already have this um, we have this example from from the tutorial folder so we can copy uh, what we need here the inlet will be inlet, inlet extruded will be inlet, and the outlet will be inlet outlet. Okay, and also the bottom will be bottom here, the top will be top. And also the ball, I mean the, the prism, this is the wall, so this must be no slip. Okay. And the default, default faces is already uh, written here, so we don't need to write it again. Save. Okay, that's all. And go on to the temperature. And copy from the temp the the file here from the initial speed the initial boundary of the speed. <coughs> okay, now change the type and the values. Copy this the outlet this. Mm, the bottom and the top wall will be the same okay so it will be this it will be this okay and the prism the ball here is the zero gradient okay now it's now complete and again the default face is empty here it's already written okay go on to the pressure Copy so copy the um, inlet here. Yeah. Remember in the sonic um, in the sonic form we use the the exact value of the pressure. If we compare it to the incompressible sulfur such as simple foam we see that the the pressure can be zero or yeah it can be zero you can put zero pressure here but remember in the compressible the the, the pressure uh, written in the in the open form is the pressure different while in the compressible sulfur the pressure we use here is the the actual pressure so we should put the actual value of the pressure here 10 to the power of 5 so it's approximately one atmosphere okay this is the outlet 
and this is the outlet and the bot the bottom wall will be similar to the top wall and the top extrude here and the ball will be zero gradient okay still this zero gradient and that's it okay now we can go to the next the new t and we copy everything here the ball extrude up to inlet extrude to the new t and change it again the inlet and the outlet will be similar okay so paste it here paste it here and the bottom wall the top wall the prism the only different patch is the prism or the ball here the, the wall so we use the new k wall function here <coughs> okay and i think we should be ready with the new t and go on to the k copy again copy the patch information and then um, the outlet the top and bottom wall will be similar will be similar here so copy paste here and the ball the the prism wall we use kqr wall function okay okay good now we go to the epsilon boundary copy paste it here <clears throat> as you can see we just modify the folder cache from the tutorial it will be it will be easy for us to if we if we want to do any simulation actually we can start from uh, the tutorial case if we don't have any initial case before so okay um, the prism wall will be the epsilon wall function okay we use the same values and the bottom wall and the top wall will be the same base the outlet will be the same okay the same as the top extrude the inlet will be different the fixed value okay alpha t copy this into the alpha t file here and oh wait be careful we missed this okay, anyway the inlet will be the same as the outlet will be calculated zero okay and the top and bottom will be the same as well calculated zero calculated uniform zero but the ball will be different okay compressible of a the wall function okay i think it's now ready to run and let's try this um what software we use here so we have the sonic form we start with stop time zero and the end time will be 0 0.004 in our case, we will increase this value into 10 times, for example. Yeah. Okay, and right interval will be, yes, it is good, I think. And, okay, we can, from this we can have the 10 
uh, frame but if we want to have let's say 400 frames or 100 frames we can do this with the right interval here and I think that's all and let's try the simulation so let's type sonic foam and generate the log file okay as you can see the simulation is running and we will back once the simulation finish here so unfortunately the sulfur stop here because of the negative initial temperature this is due to the fact that um, our FV solution we only put this simple pimple form uh, command here so instead of doing this simple uh, pimple form pimple sorry pimple algorithm I have prepared the, the new FV solution here and as you can see now the pimple gets um, bigger <laughs> so the first line here the outer corrector means the the maximum pimple iteration will be 100 and um, in this residual control it means the the residual for u is 10 to the power of minus 5 and the residual for pressure is 10 to the power of minus 5 this residual will tell the pimple to stop so for example if the iteration is not uh, exceeding 100 but for example 20 but at the same time the tolerance is already smaller than this criteria then the calculation will stop there for 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 each uh, time iteration time step iteration so we have this uh, residual control to stop the time step pimple iteration on each time step and also we need to put the relaxation factor here the relaxation factor will be 0.1 which is uh, under relaxation to to make sure our calculation um, run smoothly well by using this relaxation factor factor uh, we will uh, have a very slow calculation but it will be more safe for us it will be safer for us uh, because we actually we use a very we use a not not a very good mesh because we we just use a uh, Nagen 2D uh, uh, in our mesh so yeah let's let's do this um let's copy this pimple um copy into the our old pimple here okay good save now we need to delete the, the time step we have created except zero here okay delete this one now we go to our here let's do the sonic form again and this time our calculation should be finished without problem and, and also you can um, change the control dictionary here um, the end time will be for example 8 maybe for example yeah and also if we use the simple sony sorry the the sonic foam uh, in one core single core only it will take a very long time you can use the parallel uh, uh, calculation for this uh, spherical bullet to make the calculation much faster so but uh, this time i will use a single core only <coughs> so let's do this Okay, it's now working as you can see here the pimple converge in 94 extraction this is the first time step so it will take a very long time for pimple algorithm to converge 
and the next iteration should be less than or similar to 94 iteration and by as the times goes the the total iteration for people to convert will be smaller and smaller and the calculation will be faster and faster now the calculation is finished and we can have a look to the result as you can see we have a very we have a lot of uh, time step folder here because we deal with a lot of uh, time step here. <coughs> Parfum. And click on apply. You can check the, temp the speed for example and go to the last as you can see we have 200 uh, time step and this is the last uh, profile of the speed and also the temperature for example and so on so that's all for this two dimensional spherical uh, bullet by using sonic foam in open foam hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question or suggestion please comment below and Bye.